We've had a list of amazing women on the show in the past sharing their stories. For the next few episodes, I wanted to feature women that have allowed me to share in their journeys. Welcome to another session of Woman to Woman Business, where we aim to empower, inspire, and support our fellow women in business. I'm Haydon, website designer, brand designer. For the next few episodes, I'll be featuring some of the amazing ladies that I've worked with. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and leave comments if you're inspired by any of the guests on the show. If you've got questions about your own business or your own journey, you can leave them down below as well and we'll try to cover those in the upcoming episodes. Today, my guest is Yvonne. I'm going to let her introduce herself and share a little of her journey with you. Hi, Yvonne. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much. I'm delighted to be here. So can you introduce yourself to, to our audience? You know, I know you, yeah. I've worked with you, but let our audience know a little bit about you and sure. what you do. Yeah, great. Thanks. Yeah, my name is Yvonne Bulger and my business is Yvonne Bulger Jewellery. So I design and handcraft silver and gold pieces um, and my studio is in County Leash, uh, which is in rural Ireland. So um, let's talk about your journey. OK, so tell me a little bit about how this all started for you. Great. Well, yeah, it's a long and twisty journey because um, this is really kind of a, a third act really in my life because my background is completely different. Um, I did law and I worked as a solicitor for over 10 years um, and then I had two kids and had that whole struggle of, you know, what do I do? Work-life balance with them. Um, so in the end, I took uh, a number of years off uh, to be with them and then thought, gosh, do I really want to go back to the legal world, which is very stressful. I mean, I know all jobs are stressful, but it's it's a stressful career. So um, I decided to try and uh, just use my creative side, which um, for anyone out there who wants to do that had been dormant. I really wasn't doing anything creative for years and years, unless you count kids crafts yeah <laughs> that was it so um I was just lucky enough to see a, a, a training uh, course uh, in the school of jewelry in Dublin city and I signed up for that on a part-time basis thinking it would be a hobby and I absolutely loved it so that is some years ago now that's around 2014 right. so I just kept training and doing different courses and kind of developing skills and then thought, wow, I really love this and I want to turn it into a business. Um, and that's what I decided to do. So uh, I officially started my business in 2019. It was about 2020, I think, when I approached you for the website, if not even early 2021. Yeah, because I had started in that kind of traditional way, really only selling to family and friends and yeah. maybe people who knew me the usual and then I had a great discussion with um a, a woman who has since become a friend who owns a beautiful shop here locally and she advised me that you know you need to decide whether you want to just do the family and friends route which is absolutely fine if that's what you want or do you want to grow the business yeah. and be in stocked in shops and etc so I decided to do that, to go for it and work on my branding. And then I was lucky enough to, to get into, into her store. And from that, I then felt I needed an online presence as well. And I kind of dipped my toe into that by selling on, you know, kind of third party websites where I, it wasn't my website, but, you know, there yeah. are some very nice the ones. Yes. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So then um I decided to do my own website and that's when I contacted you and I was so nervous about it because 
photographs, content, everything. So, um, and you were just brilliant because you really focused my mind oh, on bless. the lists were a little bit daunting to begin with, but I would say to anyone, it's great to have that list and just kind of so structure your work your way through. Yeah. Yeah. Structure was fantastic. Taking that next step to go online is a big deal. And you know, it, yeah. it opens you up to so many more people. So if you're going to do that, you should sure. get it right. So those lists help to make sure that you've got everything covered, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And um, yeah, and what I found a great help with you as well was just even the aesthetic of the site and the look of it. It, it was, I felt like I had, you know, met someone that really yeah. kind of saw my vision, but also enhanced that, you know? I mean, you had great ideas for, I mean, you know, it's great to have an idea for your look, but to actually put it down you know on a website and um, you know it was challenging but it was great I mean even the tech involved you know I'm not a kid so I, <laughs> some of it was a bit daunting um, but I you know I found uh, your help fantastic so yeah it was great and it was a real I think once you get your website up you feel right now I, I'm an actual business I'm yeah, it legit does you give know that feeling, and isn't it? Like, it's it does, official now it does. <laughs> yeah. yeah so thank you very much no it was great and so we started that relationship then which was fantastic mm. and I felt then that I had backup in you if something went wrong you know I could call or whatever and and really, like touch wood, I, I really haven't had any difficulties with it, um, yeah. which is great. Um, but I know it is kind of constant kind of work. So, you have to, um, yes. You have yeah. To. So I know I want that, to. That goes with mm. any part of the business, not even just the website. You know, any yeah. part yeah, of your, for sure. your, your, your presence, your visual presence, you have to constantly um, update, Absolutely. refresh adapt you know it's one of those things yeah and um, because everything's yeah. moving so quickly people's minds as well they're being exposed to so much more so it's a matter of keeping up to date in that aspect you know sure. so I really sure. enjoyed working um, with you and you know as you know uh, I'm you. always here so <laughs> let's go back to you and your journey so yeah. what I want to know how is it all going for you right now so since you started you've put the work in how is that all going now yeah well, um, yeah, and I would say it, it's hard work and, um, you know, there's a lot of new things to learn. So say apart from just your own skill set or your own business, whatever, you know, whatever you're doing or your own products, there is the whole other process of, of selling those products and getting them out there and putting yourself out there which is something that you know um yeah none of us are really you know oh wow I want to be on Instagram yeah. showing every aspect of my life <laughs> but you do have to put a certain amount out there or you'll just be invisible um as you said there's a huge audience but they're moving all the time and um there's an awful lot of there's an awful lot of jewelry there's not a lot of everything that you want to look for so um what I decided to do was to really engage with the, the craft council in Ireland and they run an awful lot of courses and um, just general help uh, you can even get a digital audit done you know and um, so every aspect of your business yeah. uh, there's something they will train you with so I, I suppose my advice to people would be to just ask for help look look for help everywhere and um, you'll find it in um well I found in particular in other women in in business um either you know in in my line of work either retailers or uh, other crafts people are very helpful um and then I engaged with um I'm sure there's a similar system over there, but in Ireland, there's a local enterprise office in each county and you can engage with them and uh, they have courses and run events. Um, mm. So I would say what, what has brought me along majorly in this journey is, is the help from all those various places. So don't, don't be afraid to ask for help, but you do have to look for it. Nobody's going to come and say, oh, you have a new business. Would you like to do X? 
you have to go and say, I have a new business. What would you advise? What's on? Where can I go? And um, I mean, I have a lot of work to do on that. By no means am I saying, oh, I have it all sorted now. It, it's it's the constant process. So um, it's, uh, yeah, it's a challenge, but I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, really yeah. enjoying it. So, well, yeah. Let's um, talk about challenges. You know, there are so many in business and yeah. a lot of people don't really, you know, discuss them. Um, everything is so oh, for sure you know as I say on social media it's all the highlight reel the good side of it um you don't get to see the bottom of that iceberg you know that actually no, goes into the, the beauty that you see out there not many people talk about it so what are some of the challenges that you faced you know yeah the major well, one I, I suppose the, ma the major one obviously was lockdown that initial lockdown really kind of killed the, the business for about four or five months but then there was a great bounce from that and during that lockdown it kind of encouraged me really to um really focus on the, the website because there was no other way really to get into people's um faces really with the product mm. so that was a good thing that came out of what seemed like a really bad time so that was one good thing um you know I guess there's just the everyday challenge of um of of selling your product and, and then also not letting because it's a creative process not letting the business totally suck you in so that you're not really creating new product and um I mean I do think I might be a bit guilty of that in that you know you're doing so much business stuff all week and then you're not focusing on well I want to go and make a new design or new range so I kind of had to stop myself and say well you need to work on some new pieces new now pieces. because I know there's a whole world out there that hasn't seen any of the stuff but my really loyal customers have seen all these pieces so they want to see something new you know so um mm -hmm. that's a challenge too um, Finding that balance, and it's a crowded marketplace it? yeah 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 I suppose it's like everything like finding the balance is tough no matter what you're doing you know yeah yeah and um, uh and challenge I suppose challenge in that it is a new business I'm not at this 20 years you know so and so you've all those issues of being new and trying to get into shops or jewelry stores or whatever where they have been seeing maybe somebody else for a long time or lots of other people for a long time so it's just to try and make yourself heard um, is a challenge as well yeah mm. well you know what do you do to overcome these challenges well this yes it would be this year but I got the call towards the end of last year to do um a big trade show in in Dublin which is purely craft and design <clears throat> excuse me and um you there is one big section of it which is for newer businesses so I didn't feel I was ready for that but when they approached me to do it I thought I better go for this or you know I may not be asked again um so that was a huge challenge and an honor to, to do it and represent Lee Shop there um so pushing yourself really. incredible makers pushing yourself yeah because there was the you know you had to decide do I really want to do wholesale do I want to get into more shops uh do I want to push the website do which areas do I want to go for and then I kind of decided you need a mix of everything so I said look I'm, mm. I'm gonna try this you had to decide on what your stand was gonna look like so I put a lot of work into that and um I was very proud of myself at the end of it I have to say <laughs> and you need to take these little wins because you spend a lot of time doubting yourself so so if something does go well I think you should go, oh, actually that went well. <laughs> I'm pleased about celebrate that. Celebrate the little because wins. Because it's hard to do. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Celebrate the little wins because there's a lot of, you know, days when you're not feeling top of the world. So, um, but I do think as well, you have to just push yourself. And I know this sounds like a cliche because everybody says it, but there's, mm. there's no point being in it unless you're going to push yourself a little bit beyond what you're comfortable with. I mean, yes, I I'm active on Instagram. I don't have a huge following, but um, I just kind of stay at it because I do find it's it's productive and I I enjoy it as well. And um, 
it's kind of like you can put a little bit of your personality out there or what yeah. the brand is so I quite enjoy that um but uh there's whole lo loads of loads of areas I should be doing more in but like we're all the same so we just have to have a little bit of a plan and say that's what I'm going to do for this year yeah, yeah. the social media planning um, you know the challenges that come in social media I always talk about it you know you have to plan your content um, and just sort of automate everything um, I did a piece mm. recently on my blog where I talked about um, automating social media um, I'll leave a little link for you guys but um, it really oh, do does because help. I'm not terribly organized now I have to say I should be more organized yeah, yeah it yeah. does help with, with facing those um, social media challenges anyways isn't it so I did that show yeah it, and I got some great new contacts from that and some new buyers and um, mm. you know it was yeah so that was great and um, so yeah it, it, yeah it was worth it and but and even to see the you know the other stands and the quality of, of all sorts not just the jewelry the everything was really stunning so it's you know that's pushing you forward as well and you're you're oh, kind of thinking really oh great. what will I do next year even though you hadn't even thought you were going to do it at all yeah. <laughs> so you know yeah <laughs> well yeah. you've got one call you talked about the one call let's talk about a couple more of your achievements because I know I've seen I've seen a few things oh. let's talk about it <laughs> oh, okay yeah I um well I had yeah I had some pieces on tv which was great on um, a morning show over here and um, so that was great yes. and worked with a fabulous stylist on that and she was doing some beautiful summary looks and she used my Julian that was fantastic and um, mm. great exposure and uh fun uh you know, I was so nervous. You swear I was on it myself. Like they were like my babies. <laughs> I know you put your heart, great. you know, because you handcraft your jewelry. So it's, yes. it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. And I know that coming from someone that, you know, I've handcrafted my products as well. So I know the love yeah. and the, the amount of work you put into it. And then to see it out there being recognized and someone's appreciating it, that feeling is just priceless. Uh, yeah it's so true it is it's that feeling of appreciation you know that you're going oh wow or you know like the first time you sell something that you're like oh someone I don't know is paying money <laughs> something I made yeah, yeah. It, it's a great feeling it is a great feeling yeah for sure and um, so that was another highlight yeah I suppose one of the things from that trade show was that I am um, I'm now stocked in a, a beautiful jewelers in Douglas which would be very um well known and it's a, it's a beautiful shop so I was thrilled with that That's as well and um, yeah because sometimes you you um you kind of underestimate or, or, or I don't know overestimate and underestimate you underestimate uh, wh what your goals could be you know until someone says oh I actually really like what you're doing you know you need a little boost every now and then um so what keeps mm -hmm. you motivated and inspired okay well I guess what keeps me motivated really is I love the process I love making jewelry and then I really enjoy, um, say just recently, somebody, uh, they bought a, a couple of um, bracelets, which are actually gonna be bridesmaids gifts. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, yeah, it's just so lovely to be involved in people's special occasions. And that's yeah. what I find because a lot of my business is, is for, for gifts. People would come to me for gifts for special occasions and stuff. And, um, then you know they'll tell you about the person and they'll tell you about the occasion and it's just lovely and I, I love that thought that you know this piece could be worn for the rest of this person's life you yeah. know or you know I'm passed on or told oh I got that for yes you know, and my you're 50th, my that. 21st or whatever yeah so you're you're kind of sharing in that um nice experiences um so that is lovely um, and that is a large part of my enjoyment of all the rest of it as well is that you're you're working towards that moment when they open it up and they're like wow well. <laughs> that's the hope anyway. I, understand, <laughs> yeah. I understand entirely that's literally yeah. the best part of what I do you know and I, I say it a lot I put it out then I say it because it is so true sharing in your journey just mm. it's 
every new client that I get, I get to learn about you and your business and then I get to be a part of that. Yeah. So I completely yeah. understand you get so much joy from that. And I always say when I when I work with my clients, I say we a lot, you know, yes. um, <laughs> because it, yeah. on someone on your side of it now, it's it's like we're going to do this and we're going to do that. And I mean, it's not my business, but, <laughs> you yeah, know, but it's so true. Yeah, it's so true. Um, because if you don't look at it like that, it's a real us and them, whereas it, it, it is a we because you're doing yeah. this stuff together, you know, um, or even I do some, you know, bespoke work as well. So you're really you're designing the piece w with the customer because really it's it's their requirement. It might only be something as little as oh, I'd like it bigger or smaller, but some people will be really involved and mm. that's lovely too, Jealous. you know, um, and you're really creating something that that they will treasure. Yeah, you feel you're you're leaving a legacy. And I, I do, and quite genuinely, I do sometimes feel, oh, if something happened and I couldn't do this business anymore, at least I have all those pieces, pieces. out there that okay. will live yeah. on, you know? <laughs> so, yes, and the, the <laughs> memories attached to them, you know? And if you're doing them for, for weddings sure. and events. Jewelry is so personal. They are personal. Yeah. Those people are going to hold on to that for a very long time. And yeah, as you said, if they pass it yeah. down, you know, you're you're part of that. It's it's a it's a beautiful thing, definitely. Is. Yeah, it is. So I'm really it happy is. to have you. <laughs> a few gems along the way in terms of advice. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Which is really yeah. great. Um, but specifically, what advice would you give to someone thinking about starting a business right now? Even you know, even if it's jewelry or not. I think if you're starting your own business where you're going to be doing everything yourself, which most of us are to begin with, um, you really need to love what the core business is. Yes. Um, whether you're making something or you're not making something that, you know, you're, you're selling somebody else's product, but you just really believe in that product or whatever area it is. I think you need to love that part of it because there is a lot of struggle and kind of maybe not good days or a lot of long days or sometimes business is quiet and you're you're kind of worried about it, you know. So I think you just need to love the, the basic thing that you're doing and then that will push you on to go for it and go for those kind of different business goals that you want to set. But that would be my main advice. And I, I think as well, just seek help because it is, for sure out there um advice and help um some kind of mentoring system anything like that that you can whether that might be just someone who's in the business longer um mm. but just get some help build up a little network of people who will even if it's just your friends that you kind of do market research with them and go like genuinely what do you think of this what do you think this looks like and you'll get great advice because you know, they're going to be your customers down the line, possibly. And um, so you'll, you'll just get advice from from people, you know, as well, friends and family. So just just a bit of a network of support and then then look into the more formal supports like your, you know, your your local enterprise offices or whatever, you know, business supports that are around you. So yeah. thank you so much, Yvonne. Um, and, you know, let our audience know where they can find you i'm also going to leave some links below but if one if you share um with them you know how they can find you oh yeah sure well yeah so obviously as i've mentioned i have my website so that's yvonne bulger jewelry so that's um b-o-l-g-e-r is the spelling of that and um then i'm on instagram yvonne b jewelry uh facebook and they're my my i'm more active on Instagram, I would have to say, than the other uh, platforms. Um, and I'm stocked if you're in Ireland, I'm, I'm stocked in a few places. So I'm in Nook and Cranny, Port Leash, and uh, Rocks in uh, Stadorgan, and a few different places. So I, I'm working on having all those stuff because up on my website. So I'll have to talk to Haydon about that and get that sorted. <laughs> so that's me for the moment, anyway. 
Oh, that's lovely. Well, as I said, I'm going to leave Yvonne's details down below um, so you can right. contact and keep in touch and, you know, support. Oh, Yvonne's super. Yeah, I'd love, love that. And if it's just a, a question, I mean, I might, may not be able to answer it, but I'll try. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. That'll be you. Yvonne, thank you so much for being part of the show again. Thank you so um, much, hey John. It was so lovely to be asked. Thanks so much. Oh, bless. Um, if you guys are not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button down below. Um, it keeps us motivated to keep bringing you these uh, journeys and stories to help your own journey. Um, and you can also follow us on social media, follow us on Instagram. I'll leave that down below as well. Um, but again, thanks Yvonne. And I will Great. see you guys Thank you. on the next episode of Woman to Woman Business. Bye. Bye.